In this very close U.S. presidential election race, particular attention is being paid to so-called swing states, which could go either way and decide the entire thing. One of those states is Iowa. We're standing in front of the state capitol. And when politicians and candidates want to speak to the people of this state, they make a beeline for one particular radio station with a powerful signal and a large audience. And where one of the hosts unusually is Jewish and was born overseas. Unusual because this is a state where more than 80% of residents are Christian. The respected Pew Research Center puts the state's Jewish population at just 1%. With more than 92,000 farms, Iowa is part of the fabled American Midwest, sometimes known as the heartland of the United States, where conservative values run strong. It's a place where one news talk radio station, which started broadcasting back in 1924, rules the airwaves. Broadcasting from the city of Des Moines, the state's capital located in the center of Iowa, the station's strong signal booms out over the region. The studios are a popular stop-off for politicians looking to reach Iowa voters, especially conservatives. Right in the middle there, you've got WHO Radio 1040, which is 50,000 watts of pure conservatism. And it's very effective. Listeners tuning in for the afternoon drive time show have become accustomed to a distinctly un-Iowan accent. And you know, when it comes to politicians, I'm in the school of they pretty much all suck. British-born Simon Conway had lived and worked in the UK and Israel before coming to the States in 2001. After a decade in Florida, he moved to Iowa to take this job. It took me about half a second to say, yes, this is a heritage radio station. We're on WHO. Uh, this, this is an amazing radio station. It's a powerhouse. On a good night, we can be heard in 48 states. The Jewish talk radio host, who now describes himself as a proud American, uses that power to warn listeners against what he sees as the socialist path of his native land. Believe me, if you, if you don't get rid of Obamacare in November, we are socialist Europe forever. With Iowa a swing state in this high-stakes election season, the radio host has drawn national attention, including a profile in the New York Times. His background may be unusual for a prominent radio host in this part of the states, but Conway says it's rarely an issue for his audience. A lot of my callers, very Christian, uh, pray a lot. You know, uh, believe in God, um, uh, happy to say so, very public about it. They have no problem with the fact that I'm, you know, Jewish and, uh, and, and don't believe exactly the same thing that they believe. But America wasn't founded to be uh, a, a nation with one religion. In fact, it was founded to escape a nation of one religion. In fact, he has only good things to say about the state he now calls home. There's something known as Iowa nice, and it's real, and it exists, and people embrace you. As for which of the presidential candidates Iowans will embrace in the election, polls suggest it could go either way. At the end of the day, political experts expect the result here in Iowa to be decided by two key factors. Which way will the state's sizable pool of independent voters go? And secondly, which of the two main political parties will be more successful in getting its supporters out to vote? Malcolm Brown for JN1 in Des Moines, Iowa.